Hi, I'm Pavel Sabak. I'm an application specialist with the S&P Capital IQ product and content team, here to bring you another America's Market Insight. Today we'll be getting a look at what some of the largest and most prominent hedge funds are holding, buying and selling. Here we're defining largest by total equity holdings and not total as assets, just to be clear. Hence the information herein is based on 13F filings. In chart 1 on the top left of your screen, you will see heavyweights like Renaissance Technologies, Citadel, ICANN Capital holding the top three spots. Oik Ziff are at nine and Blue Ridge Capital at ten to name a few. Their aggregate holdings show that the biggest piece of the industry pie is in consumer discretionary at a massive 25% followed by IT and then healthcare at the center of your screen. Financials are the only 13%. If we look at the top right of the screen at sector buys and sells, we see that $5.2 billion net sell-off in financials from these 10 hedge funds since the last quarter. What's been driving this? Well, State Street created Spider Gold Trust was the top decrease in existing positions, a $1.6 billion decrease, with two of our top 10 hedge funds decreasing positions. Slight change to the normal positive sentiment of gold. The top sold out position, that is, the company which is no longer in a fund, was Capital One Financial, again the, the financial sector with four funds pulling out completely. Other decrease was, uh, we saw from the last quarter, five of the top 10 hedge funds decreased their holdings in Google, a uh, $842 million drop. Life Technologies and Priceline.com also saw five funds pull out. Still, Priceline, despite the decrease in positions, is the fourth largest holding by value at $2.66 billion, with seven of the 10 funds holding it, as you can see on your screen. The second top investment is Thermo Fisher Scientific, with eight of the funds holding it at a value of $3.2 billion. This includes three brand new positions at $1.4 billion from the last quarter, and a further three funds added to their existing positions. It is only Renaissance and ICANN that do not hold this stock. Thermo Fisher is a life science tools and services company providing analytical instruments, equipment, diagnostics and such alike, and it's clearly made a splash this quarter. Finally, let's have a look at ICANN's investor profile as they have been making the headlines recently. So consumer discretionary has been the biggest slice of the pie out of our hedge funds as we saw earlier. ICANN have been particularly active in this sector recently and still have large holdings in Dell and Apple. In addition, ICANN not holding Thermo Fisher, which is the flavor of the quarter, they also do not hold uh, Michael Kors holdings, unlike seven of the other funds. ICANN also have a much more concentrated portfolio than the other nine in our analysis. We could assess these findings all day, but in the interest of brevity, I will refer you to www.spcapitaliq.com for further details. Look out for the next quarter's installment of our hedge funds ownership. Until next time.